Learning Works for Kids Game Spotlights. This is a series where we go over new and popular video games and talk about how you can use the skills you learn in game in the real world. It's Shanna here from Learning Works for Kids, and if you like what you see, consider hitting that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you know when more videos post like this. If you want to learn more about these sorts of skills or are interested in a class, look at LW4K.com to see our self-guided classes to help guide children into thinking about the skills they use in-game and how to bring them over to the real world. Have you ever wanted to go fishing with Goofy? Cook a meal with Remy? Plant trees with Wally? Well, today you are in luck because we are going to be talking about the new management sim, Disney Dreamlight Valley. In this game, you create your own character who falls asleep and enters the mysterious Dreamlight Valley. This was once a peaceful place where Disney and Pixar characters lived and worked side by side. However, something terrible has happened. The forgetting has spread throughout the land and taken the memories of those who remain. And some of the characters have vanished altogether. It is up to you to restore Dreamlight Valley to its former glory and bring back all of your favorite characters and their memories. Are you up to the challenge? Then grab your pickaxe, your watering can, and your fishing pole, and get ready to enter Dreamlight Valley. This game is an excellent way for players to practice their planning skills. There are so many quests in this game, ranging from simple two-step projects to long-term ones that might take you multiple days to complete. This means that the player can practice planning out what they need to do in order to accomplish their goals. Without doing this, you may find yourself running from one task to another, but never accomplishing one actual goal. The game has a handy quest feature in the menu to keep your steps organized, so don't stress too much about taking notes. This game is also a great way to practice flexibility and try some new things. There are lots of different things to do in Dreamlight Valley, and if you are a fan of other management sims, then you might know the types of activities I'm talking about. You can fish, forage, plant, harvest crops, go mining for stone and valuable minerals, but there are other tasks as well, such as removing the dark thorns from the land, decorating and upgrading your home, and finding other characters and convincing them to come back to Dreamlight Valley. On top of all of this, you can locate the diary entries of the long gone ruler of Dreamlight Valley and see if you can piece together where they went and how to bring them back. All of this means that you need to be willing to try different things depending on what you need to accomplish for the day. If you just want to sit and cook with Remy all day, you can do that, but it's not going to get you very far in other parts of the game. So pick one or two new things to try each time you play, and you will have much better luck completing your quests and moving the story along. What is your favorite Disney or Pixar character that you want to live in Dreamlight Valley? I would love for Doug from Up to have a house right next to mine. Let us know your favorites in the comments below. And again, if you like the video, hit the like button. It helps the channel out significantly. We also go live on Thursdays. Come check it out and chat with us about new and popular games that are coming out. Until next time, check out our other content at LW4K.com.